Dear listener, musician, or orchestra. As a Danish citizen, I am deeply moved by the situation in Ukraine. At the same time, I am profoundly impressed by their courage, determination, and ability to withstand external attacks. In advance, I would like to apologize for this voice, which is generated by a text-to-speech app. I hope it is acceptable, and you will listen nonetheless. I am a Danish composer living in the Danish city of Copenhagen. I have written a symphony that pays tribute to the Ukrainian people and their remarkable resilience and strength during times of conflict. This video explains my thoughts and compositional choices. All orchestras are free to perform this work. The symphony is built around a part of the Ukrainian national anthem. The theme recurs in many different variations. In the first example, the theme is played in various voices in the string section, symbolizing the infinite faith in continuing to defend themselves. In the second example, the theme appears in many different instruments to underline how everyone in Ukraine, regardless of age and gender, is fighting the same battle. In the next section, contemplation is shown first, followed by a dancing theme presentation that represents their ability to move forward and support each other despite death and destruction. The stealthy presentation of the enemy's melody leads to the Z, which shows their desire to deter but also their inability to win. After the chaotic peace with the falling bombs, the Ukrainian soldier stands proudly and brushes off the dirt from his shoulders. The rhythmic section, handled by the percussion group, showcases the unwavering ability of the Ukrainian population to support the military efforts against their enemy. The contemplative section with the flute solo represents the pain and loneliness one feels when losing a loved one. However, this section is again concluded by Ukrainian pride and the people's ability to rise despite the significant human cost. The rest of the symphony consists of expanded repetitions of the previous themes. In this part, the enemy's theme gets closer, but it is defeated repeatedly by Ukrainian pride and strength until finally, the enemy is entirely vanquished. The large orchestral section represents a crucial and decisive battle. Subsequently, the enemy's melody is displaced by the indomitable Ukrainian theme. In the end, the Ukrainian theme stands alone, symbolizing peace and harmony.
The elements of the composition are meant to show that war is never the solution to a conflict and that it is always those with the purest hearts who emerge as the winners. This work is dedicated to the Ukrainian people but also to everyone in the world, reminding us to choose the path of dialogue. My hope and wish are that orchestras around the world may be inspired to perform this music and spread the message of peace to every corner. Thank you for watching. Warmest regards from Mads Pagsburg.